It's leg day of our three-day split. Janelle's got squats to start off with. First thing we're going to do is before you even pick up the bar, what you're going to do is line up your hands. So there's nice little grooves here. What she's doing is lining up the outside of her hand with those grooves. Go ahead and grab it. Now she can stick her head directly in the center. And stand up. Walk back. Adjust your feet. Plant them. Ground them. Get them solid. Get them firm. All ten toes pointing forward. And let's go ahead and start that squat. Straight down, straight up. Good. Notice how she sticks her hips way out, keeps her chest really high. Just like a pony on a merry-go-round, she's only going up and down. There is no forward back motion. Notice how her knees stay directly over her shoes. They never extend beyond the toes. Excellent job, Janelle. And notice how deep she's going. Keep going. Those are awesome. Nice and deep. Now, just because she's going that deep doesn't mean you're going to be able to do it, especially your first time. She's got great strength range of motion and she's really familiar with this exercise. All right, that's your last one. She's going to rack it. Here's the part where I don't want you looking side to side. Let me hear that clank. Bam. Drop it. Perfect. So when you're done, make sure you do not look side to side. Every time you look side to side, the weights on the end of the bar start to slip a little. So make sure you just walk right into these poles, bend your knees, drop them and rack. Leg presses next for Janelle. All right, so we have 45 pound plates on each side. What I want to make sure you do is when you get in, adjust your feet exactly how you want them to be. If you can't reach because you're short like me, you may not have that option. But if you're tall like Janelle and you've got the legs to do it, go ahead and get them set first. The next thing is make sure you know how to use the safety devices on all the, um, on all the equipment. Okay, Janelle, go ahead, lift. Unlock and adjust your hands and down you go. So we're looking for again nice 90 degree angle at her knee and thigh. Perfect. You see how nice that looks? All the way down, all the way up. Keeping her knees tracking in line, her hip, knee, right down to the middle of her toe. That's perfection, Janelle. Excellent job. Now when you're done, rack it. Good. Perfect. And then lower. Moving on to reverse lunges at the Smith Rack. Okay, are you ready, Janelle? Ready. Just like with the squat, she's going to line up her hands first. Good. Find the center, head goes under, and we go. Next thing is you're going to line up your feet. Now you're going to be slightly forward than the bar. Good? All Good. right. Bring your back leg forward and pick it up. Good. Now she's going to do a reverse lunge, which is letting you go back. Perfect. And down you go. Good. Again. Notice when she goes down, how her knee stays again in front of her toe. Straight down, straight up. She's got perfect form. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, make it even harder, go ahead, go down. Touch me with your knee. And down again. Good. Great form. Where do you feel this? My glute. Yes, <laughs> your glutes. Particularly that glute hamstring tie -in. Excellent job. Perfect. Leg extensions are next. Janelle says these are her favorites. By the looks of those legs. I don't think she's lying. All right, Miss Janelle. What we have going on right here, her knee, which is the pivot point of her leg, is lined up with the pivot point of the machine. And then the arm of the machine is lined up parallel to her shin. So essentially what we're trying to do is match up her leg. Perfect. All the way up, all the way down. Full range of motion all the way to the top. Don't cheat yourself. Excellent job. Thank you. All right, so we've got hamstring curls. Last but not least. You're going to notice that Janelle has lined up her knee with the pivot point of the machine. There it is, up and down. The arm of the machine is lined up with her shin. So we have all important points of the machine lined up with her leg. You also notice that she keeps her hips firmly grounded. She's not lifting her butt up and down off the pad. And she's bringing the heels or the pad behind her calves 
all the way up to her hamstrings and glutes. One more, Jenna. Excellent job. Thanks. 